Facing a lack of confidence was something that I experienced a lot when I was early on in my career, from speaking up in a meeting, to presenting, to training with a group, or even consulting with employees, which is something we do a lot in the human resources space. One piece of advice I have is to build your confidence, you need to practice, practice, practice. It's not something you can learn in a textbook or you know, go to training on. The more you put yourself into uncomfortable situations, the more you put yourself out of your comfort zone and put your hand up for opportunities that you might not regularly do is the best way to build and boost your confidence in the workplace. Do not strive for perfection. It's always all right to make mistakes along the way and that is how you learn and that's also how you accumulate skills. Secondly, set realistic goals. If you set some goals that are way too high that is unreachable for you, you will end up letting yourself down. Thirdly, be able to share your worries amongst your peers. At FDM, I'm really lucky to be in the all-girls cohort where the girls are really supportive of each other. Whenever there's one person with potential concerns or worries, we're always working collaboratively to support each other. I have a background in teaching and I think that really helped me to work on my communication skills. But FDM has really encouraged me to be able to find my voice and speak out in the workplace through my trainers. I realised that by speaking up, answering questions, I was able to learn so much from them. And this really helped me to strengthen my skills as well as be able to speak out and even if I'm out of my comfort zone. And this has helped me learn so much more and be able to strengthen my technical skills as well as my soft skills. I think it all starts with building a sense of confidence. And how do you get confidence? Um, you need to be self-aware. You need to develop some certain level of self-awareness. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And then build up on your, on your weaknesses to become better. But once you've done that and you've built the confidence, it will be so much easier for you to speak up in meetings, to voice your opinion, um, and to find your voice. A second tip would be to find a mentor, like every business has great female leaders. Um, don't be shy, we've all been in that situation before. Um, approach, approach other females if you've got any questions or if you've got any doubts, um, I'm sure they can give you some really good tips and you, yeah, you just learn from it and you just go along with it. It's so important to feel valued and respected in the workplace and women often feel that they're not being heard. We don't think that anyone will listen to us. We don't want to say the wrong thing. Perhaps we feel retribution. My advice to you is be self-aware, understand your strengths, learn to communicate effectively and with confidence, adapt your message to your audience, be aware of who else is in the room and create strong relationships with stakeholders. Imposter syndrome affects over 70% of people at some point in their lives. You can accept it for what it is, and in fact many people, they, they feel that even with time, experience and success, they still suffer from it. My advice to you would be, get on the internet and read up on it so that you gain an understanding and, and also to see that you're not alone. I'd also say be kind to yourself, talk to someone about it, someone you trust, perhaps a mentor. Say yes to opportunities, and stop thinking that you're just lucky. I always say, the harder I work, the luckier I get.